Hi everyone, this channel is Moina Bass Fishes. I am Jim Moina, professional bass angler since 1995. All right, in this video, we are going to review my first day of practice here at Logan Martin Reservoir in Alabama. This will be, be the uh, fourth tournament in a series of nine in the Bassmaster Open series of tournaments. All right, so um, we get five days of practice, or four and a half days of practice. This was the first day. So I just basically, in the first day, I want to get out and kind of get a general idea of what sort of stage, seasonal stage, this lake is in. By all, by all accounts, um, you know, I kind of feel like most of the bass should have been spawned by now, but there's probably still some hanging around on spawning beds. I did not see any bass fry anywhere at all. Although the lake's more murky than what I remember, so that doesn't help either to see that kind of thing. But I didn't see any bass fry, but there's there has to be some bass fry somewhere, I would think, because we're not that far past the... Uh, the bedding period because really when i my last stop south was on smith lake which is uh not far from here it's a deep smith lake's a much deeper lake but there were fish just starting to go on beds there and that was like what like three weeks ago so um there should be fish Still bedding. And, and then not only that, a guy I know on Sam Rayburn, he was telling me that there's still fish bedding on Sam Rayburn, which is south of here. I mean, that's further south than this lake would be. You know, it's a different, you know, a few states over, but latitudinal-wise, it's further south. So, anyhow, um, and, and there was one fish I caught today. You know, like I said, the water's murky, but, I mean, I threw in there, fish bit with a Senko. Fish bit it, uh, I pulled up on it, had the fish hooked for about a second and a half, it came off, threw in there again, he bit it again, same thing, threw in there again, and uh, finally hooked it. So that, that for sure was a bedding fish. It was like a pound and a quarter fish, a little male. Um, that's why I kept throwing in there, because I did get, I did see it, kind of see it on that first one. Uh, I mean, I reel them up just enough where I saw a flash of the fish, and I knew it was a small one. So that's why why I kept throwing in there, because normally um, <clears throat> you don't want to hook a fish in practice if uh, you just don't. It's better not to hook the fish in practice. Sometimes, sometimes I do, because I'm trying to figure out the size, you know, what's a size fish that I'm targeting. You know, what are these bites? Are they little bites, big bites? So I do hook some fish sometimes. Uh, or back in Minnesota, we got so many northern pike. You know, I usually hook a few a few right away just to kind of get an idea of what I'm dealing with. But anyhow, um, yeah, there's some fish still bedding. Now, the one thing I didn't see was a shad. I didn't see any shad spawning because the shad will start to spawn now. Didn't see any of that. The re one reason why probably was I got on the water a little too late. The, the shad will spawn under the cover of darkness. And when the sun hits the lake water, they they quit their spawning. Um, but the, the spawn, the shad spawn will still linger on in areas of shade. So a shaded boat docks, shaded shorelines that are shaded by trees and that. Uh, you can have the shad spawn linger later in, in those types of areas. And I was in some of those types of areas this morning, and I never saw one shad flip or flick or nothing. Because in, in case if you've never seen the shad spawn or shad spawning, what they do is uh, basically they just start, they just, you know, a little group of them will just start splashing on the surface um up against uh, emergent vegetation or a dock or um, or whatever, but you'll see them like splat, like flittering and splashing um, in like a little group. <clears throat> Which and the bass key on that because 
it's an easy meal for them because the shad are so occupied with, you know, the spawn that they're not so wary of predators around them. So, and the bass have learned that this is a great time to get a, get a meal. But I didn't see that happening. I'll have to make sure I get on the water earlier tomorrow. I was really tired after last night and the, the drive down here. I didn't think it, uh, I was just tired. So I didn't even set an alarm for this morning. Just got up. I was, I was fishing by eight. Um, but yeah, by eight, it's, man, you're done on the shad spawn. All right. So I really didn't catch a lot of fish today. I caught, uh, the biggest one was three pounds. It was a large mouth. There's large mouth and spotted bass in this lake. I don't, I don't know. I don't have a good feel for this lake. I, re I just don't. Um, I'm just going to have to uh, make sure. I don't know. Just fish hard. Put in the time. Try a few different baits. Look at some different patterns. Patterns would be the shad spawn. Patterns would be... Uh, I mean, I'll, I'm going to be looking at shallow patterns. There's lots of boat docks. I love fishing boat docks. There's lots of those in the lake. Um, and then there's some structure. These fish will get on structure out here as well. It's, so we'll see if they're on any of those types of places. So, and then upriver, you got current. When they when they generate water, you get current in the lake. So those will be types of places I'll be looking for too. Um, I do plan on um, fishing down the lake. And I do plan on practicing up the river. Just trying to get a feel for what's going to suit suit my needs. What's going to play into what I like to do. But like I said, part of the problem is I don't know what I like to do on this type of a lake. <laughs> I really don't. And and I'm not looking for help either. In, in fact, please don't, don't make suggestions in the comments. Don't uh, provide advice in the comments. I know it's well-meaning, I know it's well-intended, but actually um, we are not supposed to be uh, collecting information from people at this point in time. We're like in a black, we're in a blackout period for, for uh, talking uh, about fishing with other people on this lake. We're not allowed to do that. It's against the rules. So I know, I, I know you might... <laughs> You might have some good intentions. You, you're well-meaning, trying to help me out. But um, in fact, I probably won't even read the comments until after the tournament, just so I don't read things I'm not supposed to be reading. Anyhow, um, yeah, that's that's about it. That's about it. Oh, there's a lot of boats out here. I'll just say that. Lots of boats. Fishing boats, jet skis, pleasure craft, but mainly the fishing boats. They were everywhere. I think there was like a 200 boat tournament out here today. And then our boats, 200, our tournament's 200 boats, and we're all practicing. So it was kind of a mess out here. And such a mess that, uh, I don't know. If, if I lived around here, this was this would not be a place to go to relax because <laughs> it's not it's not a relaxing kind of a fishing thing out here and I, I I'm not as a tournament angler professional fisherman I don't come to this I, I don't come here to relax that's not the experience I'm looking for I'm, I'm coming here to compete uh, re relax fishing and relaxing is a totally different experience than fishing and competing and maybe I'll do a video on that someday. But, um, boy, if you if you lived on this lake and wanted to just go out and relax, you can't. There were so many boats zipping around and jet skis and, you know, not too many pleasure craft, but, they're, you know, they were there. Um, but I don't know what the answer is. Um, say, I mean, we're all we have equal rights to fish out here or, or boat out here. It's just we all have to get along and deal with it and um and 
people need, I guess it's sad, it's sad to say, but if a person wants to have a quiet, relaxing kind of a fishing experience, they're probably going to have to go to a smaller body of water or, or, a, or, a, or a small stream or, or something to that effect because it's, uh, it's kind of hard to find that out here. Because <laughs> it's there's, on a day where there's 400 boats or more, it's kind of hard to find that out here. And this isn't the only lake like that. Lots of, lots of lakes are getting this way, um, for sure. Especially as we get into May, and then into June. It all, I mean, all our lakes. Then it's just full on craziness with all these bigger lakes. So anyhow, that's not what this video is really about. But it is. It was part of the. Uh, part of the story for today all right well thanks for watching and uh we'll follow up tomorrow over